Shadesburg. Going for a walk. And today, we're walking, let me show you, the other side of the tracks, the other Bridesburg. Uh, if you go down that way, If you go down that way, you'll see you'll hit Crick Quarter where I host Quizzo. But that's Bridesburg. If most people, when you say Bridesburg, they'll go where? But then some will go out with the other side of I-95. But this is like our cousin we don't talk about. This is the other side of Bridesburg. There's an old time. This, this thing has changed names so many times. So this is now an automotive tech place. At one time, it was like a tire place where they would change your tires. But then the guy had like a little bit of a side hustle. He, uh, he, he had a barbecue grill and he would sell hot dogs and hamburgers. Uh, <laughs> I know what I say. What, what's it? Nothing, nothing as good as a sandwich from a gas station. That's not the exact quote. There's Granite Street. I didn't know Granite was in Bridesburg. I lived in Granite in Somerton or Somerdale. Uh, so is there an outlet? All right, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to walk every one of the streets in this little section. Could be a little bit of a walk, but it's okay. Just so you know, this car with no tires, that's in tow. Remember that show on A&E? Uh, wow. Not A&E. What was that show on? The History Channel. There's the guy who was who was friends with Pawn Star. Uh, the Pawn Star guys. I don't think there is an outlet on there. Oh, there's an outlet this way. God damn it. I don't want to go this way. I want to go that way. No, we're going to go this way. You know, Rick the Puppy, I don't think we're going to hit every little street because there's some, like, goofball streets we don't need to worry about. Um, what the hell was that guy's name? I think, no, Rick owned Pawn Stars. What the hell was the other guy's name? No, it doesn't matter. So, anyway, he would he would fix that car up, charge him $10 million. <laughs> That's his job. He would get old stuff and fix it up. And then you, you pay like a hundred times the original cost of the thing. Isn't that great? As you see, look at this. Wow. All right. Vacant lot. Vacant lot. So that means uh, developers are starting to get into Bridesburg. There's a few new houses. They knocked down an old church about two months ago. There's now four houses. Um. On the other side, there's like a uh, a drug treatment center. We'll go past it. We'll see it. Okay, we'll go this one. One thing about uh, the History Channel, it, it, it stopped being the History Channel. It became a TV channel where the, the stars of the TV show would pay half the price for what something's worth, and then they would resell it, making even more money. And the fact that they were on TV, they could probably charge 75% more than what they got for it. So I was like, when did the history... I mean, you used to watch the History Channel for, like, World War II documentaries. And now they're uh, you know, American pickers. They just go, oh, look at that sign. Oh, that's very old. I'll give you a quarter. And then they'll sell it for $10,000. Man, this is a nice house. Wow, this is... Check out this lawn. That's nice. Right? This is a little quiet. Well, it's not that quiet, but it's... And they got a little thing going on here, too. Wow. That's nice. I was going to say it's a quiet area, but wait till you see what's here. Yeah. 
This is a very magical spot in Philadelphia. This is the location. Aramingo Ave. And Harbison Ave. Magically. Right there. It's Harbison Ave. And on this side it's Aramingo Ave. It's a magical spot. Rick the Puppy. What are you doing? Uh, and if you see that's Northeast Philadelphia. That's the gateway. Uh oh Rick the Puppy. Oh. So those houses are nice. They got a great spot. Shit, man. You ain't ever got to worry about parking living here. Oh, they got an in-ground pool. Wow. Living it up big time. Those might be the nicest houses in Bridesburg. There's a few, there's a few old hotels in Bridesburg. On the other side of Bridesburg where it's a... Uh, they're now apartments. But yeah, it's nice. How we doing, Rick the Puppy, right? This is a... Who should be tested for hepatitis C? Just in case you were wondering. We got a billboard right here. Every adult should, every adult should get a... At least one. Every pregnant woman. And at-risk patients. Patients, wow. Do they do that in the physical? Like, if you get a physical, don't they just automatically do the hepatitis C? I don't know. There you go. <laughs> yeah, hon, let's get... You want to go ready and have a barbecue? Yeah, let's get the tables and chairs set up. I'll put it right next to the major highway. You hear that music? That's a problem in this neighborhood. There's a... Look at that little basketball net. Oh, this is where they dump their coals. There's a reminder, just so you know, we won the Super Bowl 42. And there's a... That's a sign for a... Uh, I mean, that's not a sign, that's a swing. Under, underneath two billboards. Isn't that nice? Across the street... Um, the Cathedral Baptist Worship Center. That was a supermarket for a very, very short period of time. And then it was just a big empty thing. Now it's a church. I believe the lady who does church from there, the bishop or the bit, whatever they are, uh, they, ha they have a TV show. They have a TV show. You see this property here in the corner. You see how it has that door on the uh, angle? Odds are that was probably a corner store. Maybe a bar. There's a f uh, there's two bars on the other side. There's Fibber McGee's and the Cannonball Tavern. They're both... Uh, well, I haven't been in Cannonball in a while, but uh, I know somebody who bartends at Fibber McGee's. And it's kind of like a, an old man bar. It's... It, it, it's a, a, a dive-ish dive bar. It's not. A, it's not an insult to have a dive. Work the puppy. Don't. Did you shit? Okay. No. Yeah. You don't. So it's noisy. <laughs> You're gonna deal with a lot of traffic. Because there's an exit, 195, right here. There's an exit to 95. Uh, if you're heading south, there's a few chemical plants in Bridesburg. So there's a lot of trucks. And then if you go down into Port Richmond, there's a marina. So there's a lot of truck traffic in Bridesburg. And then somebody, I remember it was like a decade ago, there was somebody in Bridesburg who lived on Richmond Street. They complained that the noise was too loud because of all the trucks. And then they, you know, they reminded them that they uh, live in the city. <laughs> and trucks, you know, <clears throat> you can't block traffic. 
all the way through. But it, it must suck. It must suck to have all those trucks. Right, and there it is. We're going to do this other side. This could be one of the smallest houses in Bridesburg. Or actually in the city. That's a tiny fucking house. I don't know if that's connected to this house. I often wondered if I had a porch house, which is these things, if I had a porch, if I would sit out front and use it. I have a pretty okay size backyard for the city. Um, I used to use it all the time. And I just, uh, uh oh. That's my favorite sound in the world. My ears perk up with the dog. I, I always want to see if there's something, if they stop near me, that means there's. That means there's chaos and anarchy about, like that. that is. So, this is Fibber McGee's pub. Um, I don't think I was ever in there. Uh, it looks pretty okay it looks all right in there this is a uh the drug treatment center northeast treatment center maybe methadone i don't know but the people go in there you see a lot of people uh uh i, I guess they get sober i'm not sure what it is this is scatter good street and there's not a property on Scattergood Street. It's just uh, the backs of houses. Huh. Oh, well, this might be a property on Scattergood Street. Oh, let's go down this street, Rick the Puppy. More. Wow, this is another street of backyards. I bet, uh-oh, Rick the puppy. Oh no. Is your is that your dog, the little guy? Huh? The little white dog yours? He's not gonna, nah, uh-oh. There's a dog behind the shed here, not not on a leash. That's all right, I got it, he'll be all right. We'll see, we'll see. All right, he's good, he's good. All right. Now, Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> yeah, your dog is uh, running around chasing my dog. You, whose dog is this? <laughs> I don't have no dog, alright. Chaos. Get the hell out of here, Rick the puppy. I thought it would have bit my ankles. Oh my God, there's another dog at the front door. Oh, this is terrifying. Why don't you, and this person, what are you doing? Why are you, <laughs> this guy had this, oh. There's a guy like, 
I don't know. That doesn't work. Oh, Rick the puppy. Ow! <laughs> there was a hole in the fence. It all took a nip nip at Rick the puppy. Whoa. What the fuck? Let's get a leash on the other side of Bridesburg. What a fucking... Holy shit. Loose dogs, hole in fences. This is the Cannonball Tavern. It's definitely seen better days. Uh, there used to be cannons on top of the Cannonball Tavern. It looks like it started in 1933. Mm. Rick the Puppy, I'm terrified. We're not doing the back streets no more, Rick the Puppy. This is Kennedy Street. By the way, these street signs. You can't even read them. I wonder if that's from like all the exhaust from the highway. There's, where is that? There's some shoes on the telephone pole. It's always funny that, I mean, I guess I don't know if people still use satellite dish TV. Um, I had dish TV and I had um, direct TV. Dish TV was horrible. Every time it rained, they're like, well, it's raining. You can't watch TV. I'm like, why? Why am I? I said, listen, if I can't watch it, I'm not paying for it. So, Every time it would rain and I would lose, I would call. I said, listen, you deduct today. You got to deduct today. I, I can't pay for something that I'm not using. And you know what? The fun thing is, they always uh, they always gave it. So if you're ever, um, here's a self-storage spot. And they, what they do is they rent out those old shipping containers. You can rent out a shipping container. Yeah, I know um, another thing you can do, and I learned this from a guy, Rob Spiewak, from the Mike O'Mara show. And uh, that was, if you call and say you're going to cancel anything, just be prepared to get an, a discounted offer coming to you. You'll get HBO for free for six months, or you'll get, um, you know, they always try to give you stars. What the fuck's on stars? I ain't watching stars. Give me HBO. I'll settle for Cinemax because at least they got the dirty movies. <laughs> My buddy used to live on the street. And uh, they would have big block parties. It was pretty nice little... Um, they were fun block parties. And uh, so one day he, he was... Uh, I forgot what he, I think it might have been this house. Um, one day, uh, we were, me and my brother were driving by his house and, uh, we saw a skunk on his lawn. So we started throwing rocks at the skunk, hoping it would spray in front of his house. Uh, that's what, for, I think he had a baby. I was a horrible person. I was a horrible person. The, 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 the skunk didn't spray. But what type of friends do that? Oh, we're at your house. Let's. Laurel, LaRue, LaRue, that's right, he lives LaRue. Wow, chaos, Rick the puppy, I'm, my heart's still racing. That little dog, Jesus Christ, doesn't he know what you did to Stewie the one-eyed chihuahua? Before Stewie met you, he used to have two eyes. Wow, very rare. So they kind of got like a Mayfair thing going too, to get like a little property. I, this is awesome if you go grocery shopping because probably the back rooms are the kitchen So you just come in here and you run your groceries. You don't have to worry about double parking I don't know if parking would be an issue. I guess parking on your street would be hard 
Uh, I, I think parking might be an issue. Wow. Look at this. It has stop signs that way. It stop signs this way. Making it a two-way street. And it's only enough space for one car. So this has this is where you have to do the uh, if you see a car, you got to pull over or back up. Let's go through this. Oh, you know what? No, we're not going through a backyard. That didn't go well for us last time, Rick the Puppy, right? Put in here. Here's an old building. I don't know what this is. Uh, the Industry Bridge Street Industry Center. Let's see if we can see the brickwork. Well, the brickwork on that building is pretty awesome. Look up there. That's some pretty incredible brickwork. Huh. Back at it, Rick the Puppy. There's a liquidation warehouse. What could that be? Oh my God. What kind of discounts could they have at like liquidation warehouse? What? No. What? Liquidation warehouse. Black Friday liquidation. What is this? What are we doing here? Do we sell stuff here? Or is this just the warehouse? That is... A medical helicopter, or maybe that's action news. Oh, yeah. Eighty percent uh, discount. Well, it looks like you can go shopping in here. Huh. Rick the puppy. We're gonna figure that out. We're gonna go in there. Look at this. Sign of yesteryear. Uh, oh, I can barely make anything out on that wall. Here it is, my inner Adam the Woo coming out. What? The, all right, so that says brown for crown. Okay, crown. Hmm. Uh, Nah, it's too hard. I can't read it. Does anybody know what that says? All right, Rick the Puppy. Let's have our wits about us. Yeah, I would love to be able to just drive up and... Yeah, I guess I guess parking might be a little tough here because if you ha you can only park on one side of the street. So that means out of all these houses, they get one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. There's 14 parking spots. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. A little bit more than 14 cars, so. If there's two cars per house, that means, you know, 28 cars, and then you gotta park on these side streets. But the funny thing is, you're only allowed to park on one side of this side street. I think, I think you could do, I think you could do two cars, uh, maybe not. Okay. 
go past this building here to a self storage place. I worked in self storage for uh, maybe two years. It's probably the most depressing job. I remember one time I had an auction. You know, had a, you uh, just like yeah, it's a part of another thing. The history channel. No, that was a uh, the arts and entertainment channel. What's this guy doing? It works, buddy. It's working. This is an old refrigerator company. One of the uh, saddest things I had to do was I, you know, sell people's stuff at auction. I remember one time there was a guy who was in prison. And he get, he was he went to jail for uh, six months. His sentence was like for six months, but he fucked up in jail, so there was an extra like three months added on to his sentence. But before he went to jail, he only prepaid for six months. So his entire life, his entire apartment, the uh, appliances, everything uh, was sold. And uh, when he came to open his stuff. He came in. I was terrified because he was in prison. Uh, he, I was like, dude, your, your shit sold like last week. And it was his whole life. And uh, he looked at his girlfriend and he said, yo, I, thought, I told you to take care of that. And she goes, oh, I forgot. Woo. Woo. I don't, I, they, he just, the guy, the guy was cool. He was cool as Chris Rock. He went, oh, okay, thank you, sir. He, he thanked me for selling all his stuff said thank you sir looked at her he said get in the car I said, oh boy oh boy I'm not saying what the Chris Rock say I'm not saying oh I understand like about, about OJ Simpson I'm not saying I would do it <laughs> oh I don't, I don't think that's the joke at all it doesn't matter and the one time there was a guy and I sort of knew him. He was always like somewhat late, and he's always like close to the line of uh, losing his stuff. And his mother's ashes were in the storage bin. And I was like, "Cuz, you can't, you can't have your mom's ashes." Oh, I used to have that bar set in my backyard. Um, that material doesn't work. Um, you gotta have a cover for it. If you don't have a cover on it, the sun will deteriorate it within a year. Would deteriorate? Look at this sign. Speaking of deteriorate. Uh, so this is 95. This is an exit. But look at that. That yield sign. Woo! That's old. It's kind of like a white noise. The car, uh, you know, driving. That kind of. I bet you get used to it. I, I, my mom and dad live in the far northeast, and we grew up in Port Richmond. I grew up in Port Richmond. And uh, but my house on Ann Street was maybe a half a mile from 95, so there was always a little light hum. Plus, Aramingo Avenue was a busy street, so there was always traffic. And uh, I remember when I moved to the far northeast, uh, it, it was so quiet the crickets kept me awake. I couldn't, um, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep for. It was tough. Then I moved back to Bridesburg. 
uh, well, I moved to Longcrest, and then I moved to Bridesburg, and uh, I've been dealing with noise pollution ever since. Another big thing we have in this area, people blasting, uh, they, they, they have these speakers that rock bands use when they play arenas, and they blast music real loud, and there's two spots in Bridesburg where uh, that's an issue. There's a spot called the Taconi Boat Launch, and if you use the Delaware River, uh, that will these people use the Delaware River a as a way to echo their music. You can hear it like six miles into New Jersey. So we got the highways, and people don't care about that, but the six mile long speaker, people, it, it's, it's, it's bad, it's really bad. And it fucks with the kids that live in the neighborhood or somebody, like I know somebody who has a kid who is, has sensory de deprivation. So that bass, that loud bass fucks with them, you know? And uh, so I'm gonna see if I can find those guys. Here's, a, again, we're back at the worst intersection. There's a tire. Let's go, Rick the puppy. Gotta keep your wits about you. I think that used to say the Frankfurt Arsenal. Now it just says the Arsenal. Um. All right, well, we did it. Listen, that's the other side of Bridesburg. Uh, One-way, two-way streets. Uh, vicious dogs with no uh, fences. Uh, parking situation looks tough. It's a little noisy. Uh, Fibber, I guess it looks like Fibber McGee's is the only bar open, or at least the only door, the only bar without a door blo uh, blocked by wood, almost making it look abandoned. So I got a Fibber McGee's if you uh, want an old dime, old time dive bar feel. But after you go there, make sure you check out Crickwater right down the street. They have uh, appetite food and really good food. So. All right, I guess that's it. Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Doodles!